Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to my channel, The Empress and the Sun Tarot. This is a reading for love, money, and luck. Um, we are trying something a little different, so you want me to do it. So we are just going to do that. We are using the Wisdom of the Oracle Cards for Love. We will put them there. And we are using the Energy Oracle for Money. And we are using the Psychic Tarot from um, of the Heart for John Holland for luck. So we are just going to, um, she wants me to put those there. We think they're all beautiful cards. So we are just going to pull um, one of each one and um, also a Romance Angels. Um, we're just going to, she said. Flip through them just a little. Okay. And we are just going to put them down. And we are just going to pull off the top on them. So um, we are going to begin with Pisces because we are in Pisces season. So Pisces, we are pulling for love. You get the card, fork in the road. So Pisces, it looks like you can have a decision with love. Um, the card for money is goddess of the moon. So Pisces in this new moon coming up it looks like you can really manifest it looks like you definitely have that um energy with the moon to manifest whatever you want with money so are you looking to manifest a specific amount of money are you looking to manifest um a new job what are you trying to manifest Pisces and then we are going to get a card for luck for Pisces and Pisces you get challenging times which for this card, um, I feel like if you've been going through a challenging time, um, no, five is about change and it is time um, to manifest something new because you're at this fork in the road and everything can change um, immediately. And we are getting a romance angels for guidance for you and you get finances and careers. Financial issues are factors in your love life right now. So Pisces, what would you like to manifest um, right now? It looks like you've been having a little hard time, but you know, the next card after that five is that six, and that is a little bit better energy. So um, that is for you, Pisces. We are now going to move on to Aries. So Aries, we're going to get a card for love for you. And Aries, you get between worlds. So um it may have been a dark time, but no, that's going to change. Um, you get for money, you get the broken heart card. And for luck, you get the card of balance. So as you balance your energy um, with this broken heart, it feels like your luck is definitely going to change. And the romance angels card you get is release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy so um aries what do you need to let go of from your ex that's going to really um allow a big change to come in um because it, it looks like you're in this dark place and as soon as you release that it's going to really change um your overall energy so really nice Okay, Taurus, we are moving on to you, and we are going for love for Taurus, and you get the Imagine card for money. Taurus, you get the indecision. Are you having more than one offer? Um, what what would you like to, you know, what's going on? Um, it, it looks like you can manifest whatever you want in love. Are you having a problem doing that with money? And then we're going to get a card for luck for you. And you get the feeling alone. Um, also another five, which is about change. So Taurus, no, this is about change. Um, the action to come is, are you ready to, to keep going? Are you ready to step into the light and make, make the change? Because making the change is feeling more confident. That's what Celia's is saying. Feel more confident, Taurus. And the card you get is the chemistry card for there is a strong magnetic connection here. So um, you're definitely being pulled in a direction. Taurus, are you being pulled on your um, spiritual path? Um, if you are, just embrace it. Because um, sometimes that can slow everything down if we're kind of resisting it. 
Okay, we're now going to move on to Gemini for love. And Gemini gets the card of Go the Distance. So wonderful energy for you, Gemini. For money, Gemini, you get strategy. So um, with that, it oh, looks like a clean slate. You could really write what you want. So Gemini, imagine what you would like to manifest in the Department of Money. And we're going to get a card for luck for you, Gemini. And you get Choose Your Battles. So um, that's kind of about having boundaries. And know sometimes things just aren't worth um, your energy. And the bottom of the deck is, um, or the Romance Angels for Guidance for You is Unrequited Love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. What relationships are holding you back? What what do you what are you holding on to? What what battle do you need to let go of? What that it looks like that's what's blocking your luck, Gemini. So um what do you need to release or who do you need to release that's still hanging out in your energy that's not serving you? Okay, we're gonna move on to cancer. And Cancer for Love, you get all the glitters. So, woo, we like that card. For Money, we're going to give you the card of the Thinking Man. So, we feel like if you've recently gotten some money or you're getting ready to get some, um, just make sure you're being very wise. But we feel like with that, you're going to come forward with some kind of a gift. Um, we feel like he he's proceeding with a gift. So, um, so cancer, are you going to give somebody a gift? Um, and then the card for luck is finding balance. Um, and that is, you know, definitely, um, you know, are you finding balance with your luck? Um, it looks like something really good is coming in, but don't, um, don't overthink it. Don't hold it back. Cause sometimes if, you know, we have to realize there's flow in and out with everything. And the card of the Romance Angels is the retreat card. It is time to disconnect from the world. So, um, Cancer, are you going on a vacation? Are you are you going to take somebody with you? Um, just know that everything is looking really good. As Just make sure you have that balance between, um, you know, between everything. Okay, we're going to move on to Leo. Leo, we're going to see a card for love for you. Leo, you get the card of higher power for money. Leo, you get the card of patience. So it looks like a blessing is getting ready to come your way, Leo. And for luck, you get the card of move, which is the chariot. Um, and it looks like, so maybe, um, Leo, are you going to... Are, are you going to pop the question to somebody? Leah, what's going on? It looks like um, whatever move you make is going to be really blessed. And just know that when it comes in, um, listen to your guidance of your higher self. Because that's really guiding you in all aspects. And we feel like you're being very balanced in that, Leo. And the, um, the Romance Angels card is the Passion card. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So, um. Seems like a very good time for Leo. So, yay, Leo. We love that for you. We are moving on to Virgo now. Virgo, for love, you get the soulmate card. For money, you get the door to spirit. And for luck, you get the card of dedicated effort, which we feel, you know, Virgo, that's definitely your energy of putting in the work, you know, that eight of pentacles. So, um... Virgo, just keep doing the work you're doing, um, but know that your soulmate, and I feel like it right now that, you know, your work really is to be working on your spiritual path, so no Virgo, um, she's like, what can we say about the soulmate card, Virgo, we just love that, and the Romance Angels card, you get us heart-to-heart -heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other, so Virgo, you know, Tell the universe what you want. Co-create. Um, tell tell that soulmate person what you want to. Um, they want to hear. Okay, we are now moving on to Libra. So Libra for love, we get the card of blessed. 
And for money, you get the card of Angel of Strength. So very good energy we feel with that. And for luck, you get the card of Darkest Fears. Libra, make sure you're balancing. Um, she's like, make sure you're balancing your energy. We know that's so you, but you can be really blessed. But don't don't take it to, um, you know, don't take it to the extreme. Make sure you're having the balance there with that luck. And the Romance Angels, you get the Children card, which is your love life is being affected by children. And Libra, I'm just going to say, you know, with that Children card, normally for me, it's that inner child healing. And, you know, we do teach a class on Chiron. Um, we are teaching a class Monday on Chiron. So, um you might want to check it out because it looks like there's a little bit of healing that needs done for you, Libra. Okay, we're now going to move on to Scorpio. So for love for Scorpio, we get the orphan card. Scorpio, what's going on? Are you feeling left out? Who? What's going on? No transformation is at hand with Pluto moving. Um, so he says. Um, <laughs> for money, you get the angel of love. So we feel like maybe, Scorpio, you're being really blessed in the area of money right now. Um, so just know that if you can manifest it in money, you can manifest it in love. And the card of luck is the blossom card, which is the judgment card, which is beautiful. Know that this transformation time is coming for you, Scorpio. Um, and the Romance Angels card you get is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So um, make sure you're spending some time um, loving yourself and know that like you can make this cycle happen really quickly and change it. Um, we feel like you've definitely got the, the financial situation going on, but the love we need to work on a little bit, Scorpio. So um, we're going to keep going. Sag, we're going on for love for you. Sag, we get the card of Unfinished Symphony. So Sag is somebody coming back. And for money, um, you get the card of Door to Romance. So um, we feel like your love and money may be very tied together, Sag. Um, so pay attention to that. Um, and the, <laughs> the card for luck is the Reach Out card, which for me is that community card. Make sure you're sharing, um, you know, whatever, like, whatever is valuable to you, make sure you're sharing that with your other, you know, your community. And as you're doing that, that is going to really bring in some, can't hold those right, some very good energy for you, Sag. And we're going to get a Romance Angels. And you get the Keep It Open Mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So. Very, very nice. Okay, we're going to move on to Capricorn. So Capricorn, for love, you get the time to go. Capricorn, are you contemplating leaving something? Are you, are you getting in something more? Are you getting into a committed relationship, Capricorn? Um, and in money, you get the envy card. But a lot of times in this one, I feel like maybe you've been in a really dark time. But like you're about to step out into that light. So honestly, we'll say Cap Capricorn, if you see other people in your environment that start to do really well, be like, thank you, universe. Because you know what? It's going to be in your environment first before it comes in your physical. And once it does in your, you know, it's in your local environment, it's going to come into your physical so quickly, Capricorn. Um, and your card for luck is the card of simply love. And that is you know, the Six of Cups. Um, as, 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 you know, you're connected to your family, we feel like, you know, your, you know, original family. Um, and even like your children as like, oh, your connection with your children makes your energy so much lighter and brighter and so much easier. And when you're in that connection with your children, your money can flow so much better. So, um, Capricorn, um, are you being connected to your children? Um, and the Romance Angels card is let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And then we are going to move on to Aquarius last. And for love, Aquarius, you get the exchanging gifts. So 
We feel like this is, you know, um, the universe is ab about to give you a gift, Aquarius. You know, Saturn recently moved um, into your, out of your sign into Pisces. And Pluto moves into your sign, Aquarius, next week. So we feel like that's going to bring a huge gift for you. So um, in the area of love. For money, you get the garden and the gate, which is, you know, she's right there in that. And that gate's closed, but she has the key around her neck. And we feel you do too, Aquarius. And with that key, we're going to also mention our Chiron class. Because, you know, sometimes that inner child healing is that key that we need to let our abundance really flow. And then we're going to move on to luck for you, Aquarius. And you get the card of love abounds, which is the ace of cups, which looks like this can be a brand new beginning as you work on your self-healing and your self-love. So beautiful energy of what's coming for you, Aquarius. And the romance angels is give your relationship a chance work on your partnership. So we feel like you may be um, having somebody come back around um, for you, Aquarius. Um, very beautiful energy. We hope everyone likes that. It was just a little something so you want to try. So um, 